Welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tap a hole with the drill press. down on the quill, we'll start to initiate the cut, and you'll feel a little resistance. When you feel the resistance, you're going to want to lubricate the cut. It'll help you cut through this and create these threads. I'm using 3-in-1 oil here. Uh, you can use water, diesel. There are a number of different schools of thought on what you should be using to tap different materials. And uh, as you can see, I'm just making progress as I go. Uh, now, I'm not pushing down too hard on the quill. Uh, as soon as I get a couple thread threads in there, uh, there's no reason to keep pushing down. It'll keep itself where it needs to be. Um, you just want to put an even amount of pressure on there so it makes it a little easier on yourself while you're cutting. And uh, so as you can see, I'm not going too far. I'm going maybe an eighth or a tenth of the way, making a little bit of progress as I go, and then going all the way back and evacuating those chunks because I can feel, if you pay attention, you can feel as you're tapping uh, what's working, what's not working, and where the chips are. Especially in a hard material like this stainless steel, um, this is a, a difficult material you have to pay attention to, to what you're doing. Otherwise, you are, uh, you're definitely going to snap that cap off and it's not going to look good. So we're all the way through. So now we're going to back it out. Uh, I'm also moving the chips as I back it out because I don't want any chips to get And uh, then we've got a nice little hole there. So here's a piece we were working on. This is a piece of 316 stainless key stock. This is tough stuff. There is no way I would ever be able to tap this by hand. I don't have the skills or the patience to do that. Uh, as you can see, you might have spotted in the video. Uh, I actually tapped the other side, trying to do the same thing. This was by hand, snapped off the tap, had to go buy a new tap, and then I figured I'd give it a shot on the drill press, and the drill press worked. Got it done in some 316 stainless. I would have had a hard time otherwise, probably wouldn't have been able to complete the project that I'm trying to complete. So uh, as you can see, I've got a carbide insert in here. This is going to be used for the wood lathe. I'm going to be turning some stuff with this. You might have noticed that my my hole is a little bit off center uh, because I didn't punch the center. Well, I'm going to have to do a little grinding on this <laughs> to make up for my inexperience uh, in uh, metal work. But I got a hole tapped in it, so I'm excited about that. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen. So a couple tips for doing this. A handle. For tapping. As you can see, it's just a piece of bar stock. I ground down the end so it fits snugly in my chuck, and I can use this to twist all the way around and really feel the tap. If you try to do this by hand, it might work if you're in some soft material. Definitely wouldn't work in that 316 stainless. The second thing I would say is if you're working in a hard material, especially with a little tap, you need to be uh, evacuating your material. I was only able to come maybe a sixteenth uh, to a maybe a tenth to a sixteenth forward. Uh, and I'd have to go all the way back, and I sort of use the uh, the post on my drill press as a stop, and I'd hit the stop, come back, hit stop, and you kind of get in a groove. Um, but it did take me a few minutes to tap this. Probably I was I was probably at it for a good five or six minutes, but the fact that I got it tapped is a miracle in and of itself. <laughs> this is just a carbon steel tap, so nothing special. It's just a har it's just from the Harbor Freight set. Uh, so was the other one I broke that I can't get out of there. I'm just gonna have to lop it off. <laughs> <laughs> the other piece of advice I'd give you is make sure that you have cranked down on your chuck. Also, keep your tap well oiled. It makes a huge difference as far as clearing the chips and, and giving a little lubrication to the cut. So I'm going to finish making this lathe tool. Uh, I'm going to make a few of these, and I'll do a video on one of the ones I make. Um, so if you have an interest in making one of these tools, uh, tune in. I will make sure to put a link to a video as soon as I post one. Not sure when that's going to be, but I'll... I'll get working on it for you guys. This has been your quick and dusty tip for the day. And until the next video, you guys have a good one.